In this video, I'm going to show you a way to do non-destructive dodge and burn. And it takes a little bit longer, but it just means you can go back and edit it and change it when you need to. So if we start off by clicking on the plus sign and then add a pixel layer and then clicking on the brush over here. So I'm going to start off with the highlights and you can just pick any light color for this one, but I'm just going to go with white. And I just want to make it so that the light is coming from the top right. So then I want harshness on 0%, I want the flow around 52 and the opacity all the way up. I'm just going to make the brush a little bit smaller and then I'm going to paint over where I think the light would hit the giraffe. Just make sure this pixel layer falls underneath the giraffe layer. And then all we need to do is change the blend mode. So if we click on that pixel layer and then click on the three dots, click on normal and then scroll down to color dodge. And then we can lower the opacity. And then we just want to add some shadows. So click on the plus sign again and add another pixel layer and then change the color to black and then just paint where you think there would be shadows. And then we're just gonna change the blend mode to color burn. So click back on the three dots and then scroll down to colour burn and again just lower the opacity. And so if you think there's other bits that need darkening a little bit more, you can just pink back over. And then if you think maybe some bits should be a little bit darker, you can add another pixel layer using the black again. Then go back on colour burn. And now you can just mess around with the opacity until it fits what you want. So now you can see all the pixel layers, so it just means you can go back and edit them, or if you want to get rid of one, you can. But it's not going to affect the main picture.